What is up guys, my name is Salhan and you are watching Gadgets is Fierce. In today's video, I'm going to do the full review of the latest update which I got in my OnePlus pad. So this is the latest updates belt number as you guys can see. This is Oxygenus 15.0.0.401. Now this is the latest update and it just says it improves system stability. So there are a lot of things I needed to talk about in this video. So stick around till the end. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm just going to talk about the new system improvement, which is actually the stability. So the new icons right now actually does look a lot more refined than before. This is actually the icon pack I'm using right now is if you go in icons, you guys can see we have an option called pebbles and that is what I'm using. And if you enable ART plus icon that is actually designed even for third party apps, you will see that after the latest update, there is a lot more refinement in the icons like the weather app looks amazing. The notes app or even the games app just looks amazing. It's a lot more colorful and better than before. So that is one thing which you get in the new update. Then we have system stability. So what actually used to happen was while you use like YouTube at let's say 100% brightness for maybe three hours continuously, like maybe you're watching a lecture or something, it actually used to heat up a lot at this area, the backside. But now since the latest update, the heating has completely vanished. We have no problems in the heating. But there is one thing which people complained a lot about is actually in terms of the battery life. And still, if I would talk about the battery life in balance mode, I still get six to seven hours of battery backup. But with the high performance mode, the battery backup decreases significantly. So yeah, some people were actually right about the battery backup becoming less and I have also felt that. So it only gives around four and a half to five hours of battery backup in high performance mode. But honestly speaking, if you're just going to watch maybe a YouTube video or maybe you want to watch, let's say a movie from like Netflix or Sony Live or like Hotstar, you don't really need high performance mode. I would actually suggest as far as to go in power saving mode. It will limit your display to 60 Hertz. It might feel a little bit laggy, but the thing is if you're gonna watch a video or maybe a movie for a very long time you don't need more than 60 hertz because all the content is shot in 60 hertz at maximum and most of the movies are shot at 24 fps which will save even more battery so yeah using the tab in balance mode and power saving mode is gonna give you a lot of battery life which you will never have like got in this tab but again if you want to play games then of course you should actually enable the high performance mode to get the best battery life now, one more thing that they have actually improved is scrolling in Google Play Store. Now, that is something which I always check because you know what? I don't know why the Play Store is the most unoptimized app ever. So once you scroll there, you will see a lot of hiccups and lags. But right now, as you guys can see, everything is very, very smooth. And that is just amazing. So I always check Play Store for its smoothness. One more thing, YouTube does run in 144 FPS. Many people had actually complaints that it doesn't run in 144 FPS. It only runs in you know like 60 hertz but yeah there's no problems whatsoever that is also fixed now this was an issue in the last update in my tab actually it was running in 144 hertz in some of the other people's tablet it was stuck at 60 so now it is actually constant 144 hertz you don't need to worry about that now let's actually answer some of your questions which you guys have asked so let's get started battery life is now way more better i get like 20 constant 12 hours of battery backup that's amazing for you because some people were having problems so i thought let's just address it then we have for content watching like lectures and all does it have black bars so this is like content watching okay so if i play my video look at that it is shot in 16 to 9 aspect ratio as any content is and you guys can see we do have a little bit of black borders at the top and at the bottom but the thing is it is still not that bad it's like still you know pretty usable and watchable so you're not gonna have really that big of a problem and uh, for videos like this you can even zoom in and still get the full view but yeah still it's not that bad so no problems whatsoever and in case you want to watch lectures so let me actually just pull up a lecture and show you what i'm talking about so if i just search let's say physics wala because this is the best educator in the planet as of now and look at that that's how much black borders you're gonna get and you know what that white thing was it was actually you know doing its optimization so you will see you have a bit of borders but not that much so it's still usable no problems whatsoever now let's just move on towards some other questions which you guys have asked let's see now we have uh, Please mention the software version. I have not got the updated and I'm still confused whether I'm in beta or stable. So as I've told you, this is the software version. You can actually see in software updates. This is the version I'm running currently. It improves system stability and I got this update yesterday only. It's actually amazing. So this is the system version. 
let's actually move on to one more question we have where to get the one plus stylus or some other alternatives with palm rejection please suggest guys believe me i have actually ordered a stylus i'm not going to tell you yet but if it works perfectly fine and i have also ordered a gloves which helps in palm rejection and if those two things combined work amazingly i'm gonna make a video and you will be, be very very happy with it because that will actually replace and work exactly like the oneplus stylus was used to work and it's not even that expensive it's only 13 to 1400 indian rupees including the stylus and the you know gloves so i guess if it goes all well i'm gonna make a video about it make sure you subscribe and comment down below what is the touch sampling rate on the pad to it's absolutely the same which is in the pad one as well so if i actually show you the touch sampling rate let's actually search so touch sampling rate of one plus pad one so this is actually 144 hertz and that is the same for the pad 2 as well both of them have a 144 hertz display no problems whatsoever now we have uh, will the oneplus pad go be getting oxygen 15 stable i think it will be because yeah that's also a relatively newer tablet so i hope oneplus will be providing oxygen 15 for the pad go so you know do you don't need to worry about that now let's just go where do you get these cool wallpapers honestly speaking i just search the web and get these wallpapers like cool ferrari wallpapers and there you go and believe me guys this looks amazing just look at the wallpaper wow that just looks gorgeous and and this display with this matte you know screen guard it looks even more better so I always told you guys do apply a matte screen guard it is great for having a tablet like this and uh, uh, dynamic island isn't working i mean the fluid uh, whatever they call it it's not working in my tab as well some people said you have to reset the app or something like that but i don't really care if it works or not so it doesn't really matter for me how to open pdf in oneplus notes that i also don't know yet so yeah and then we have i want to change my keyboard like you so actually to get this split screen keyboard i guess a lot of you guys are actually interested in getting split screen uh, you know keyboard what you need to do is you need to actually just tap on this option right this is the normal keyboard we have an option here you just need to tap here and there you go now this is a lot more handy to write things like this because uh, you know it's just a lot more reachable so that's how you can switch keyboard thanks bro for the video love you habibi i like uh, when you guys comment like this then we have anyone who is buying it for bgmi won't suggest if you're looking for proper 80 90 fps i have one plus pad and i get 40 to 50 uh fps when i when in event for like 10 30 seconds and then it gets to 70 80 normally i don't know why but it also fluctuate fps like crazy the problem with the fluctuation is actually poor optimization and as i have told you with this latest update they have tried to you know improve the system stability but still the tab is still not that much like uh, greatly optimized and i think they have actually put a lot more resources in the oneplus pad 2 and have, they have left the development of the pad 1 which is kind of sad but i think they are gonna fix it very very soon so yeah you are gonna get great fps in the future i hope so then we have biggest drawback is third party stylus is not support palm rejection i think oneplus should fix this by software update and if they fix it then this tab is unbeatable at 30k this is an absolutely great comment and yeah i do appreciate it akash bhai because yeah you do need a great stylus support for this and if you get a third party stylus support this pad is literally unbeatable and you know in sales you can actually get this for as low as 23 22 000 indian rupees that is fabulous deal like fabulous by far so yeah that is kind of something which i think you should consider now we have 120 fps i don't think you're actually gonna get 120 fps in this pad anytime soon then we have the battery backup has decreased it is it hasn't really decreased that much but yeah there are a few instances where i would say that yeah it's not the best in class as of now and that is something you need to know but this was pretty much it for today's video if you have a lot more questions any other question query comparison you want with the xiaomi pad 7 or the xiaomi pad 6 or maybe any other pad do comment down below and yeah that was pretty much it thanks for watching subscribe gadgets sphere these videos do take up a lot of time to make and it will be amazing if you subscribe it that's it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one and yeah i'm gonna bring this stylus video very very soon so stay tuned for that that's it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out